You're listening to the Call Kent podcast, where Kent C. Dodds answers questions and gives insights to software engineers like you. Now, let's hear the call. Hi, Kent. My name is Alex. On one hand, you advocate for implementing progressive enhancement technique for applications. On the other hand, even in Epic Stack, the use of custom React components is justified even for a simple checkbox, which essentially makes the application non-functional without JavaScript. So I'm struggling to decide whether it's worth trying to develop a progressive enhancement UX at this time, or if it's still an unattainable ideal. And that was the call. Here's what Kent had to say. Hey there, Alex. Thanks for the question. So, um, I would say that, like, just because you have custom components doesn't mean that those things are non-functional without JavaScript. Uh, so the, the checkbox uh, can still be functional without JavaScript um, when we consider that the CSS is what's driving it. Uh, so the the components that you're using they're going to be server rendered and they'll show up on the browser as HTML. Um, and then when you check it, as long as you've got the proper CSS in place um, and you're still using regular uh, forms and stuff. Um, that stuff should still work. Um, so uh, it's I, I don't think that it's an unattainable ideal, um, but I think that um, sometimes we go to the maximum on both sides of the spectrums here, uh, which I think is kind of interesting. So uh, some people say progressive enhancement doesn't matter. Uh, my application is behind a login screen anyway, so I don't care about SEO and I don't care about uh, things working without JavaScript. And other people are on the other side of the spectrum, and, and they bend over backward to make everything work without JavaScript. Um, and I think the reality is somewhere in the middle. Uh, what I'm mostly interested in is things working and providing the best user experience for uh, it, even users who uh, don't have the best internet connection or anything like that. So I, I want to think about what's the best user experience I can offer. And, and if I can make a um, a delete button on an item uh, work without JavaScript, then I'm, and it's not like an enormous amount of effort, then I'm going to do that. Um, and like the other thing is, it's not just about the um, better user experience that progressive enhancement offers, but also the better developer experience. Because by making things work without JavaScript, that means that you don't have to worry about managing state. And state is one of the things that makes things really tricky. Um, and so if you can um, make things in such a way that they don't need JavaScript to work, that means you made it in such a way that you don't need state for it to work. And that simplifies things. So an example of this would be uh, using some of the newer uh, features of the, the web for uh, managing a popover or for uh, or, or a dialogue or something like that, um, or just using regular form inputs and CSS for styling your checkbox, uh, as an example. So I think that um, if you just spend a little bit more time on it, you'll find that the end result of your code is going to be better. Um, and CSS uh, has a lot to do with this. Um, and the, the newer platform features also have a lot to do with this. But at the end of the day, our applications, um, like real dynamic applications, really require JavaScript to function. And it kind of depends on how important it is for your use case on whether those things will function without any JavaScript at all. Um, but uh, I don't think that, uh, I, I neither think that we should abandon progressive enhancement nor make it the most important aspect of what we build. Uh, I think we should be somewhere in the middle. Uh, I hope that is helpful to you, and I hope you have a nice day. This has been the Call Kent podcast. Learn more about Kent at kentcdodds.com and get your own questions answered at kentcdodds.com slash calls.